вами. friends today John and I wanted to show you what a typical winter day in the van looks like a lot of days we are traveling or we're working but one of John and I's biggest passions is skiing so today we are in Big Sky Montana and we're gonna take you through a ski day we are so so excited a lot of van lifers avoid the winter because it has a lot of challenges especially in the van but we love the snow and we've found a way to make it work and we want to share that with you guys. So uh, join us for our day. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. Tell me what you want This time I won't take it to the heart Cause I know we won't make it out I've heard it all before Yeah, tell me what you want Then be here that I'm the only one You know that we won't make it out We've heard it all before It's all The best part about skiing and having a van is that when it's lunchtime, you can come back to the van, take your boots off, have a cocktail, have a cocktail, <laughs> snuggle with Griff while John makes me lunch. Pretty amazing. Okay, while we're on a lunch break, let's talk about one of the biggest things that we have to be aware of to survive in the winter, and that is water. Now, when we built our van, we included a ton of insulation, including three inches of foam insulation on the floor to make sure that our van stays nice and toasty all winter long. Just like a house, if you let it get too cold, it's gonna freeze. That actually leads into the next point where when you're looking for places to get more water to fill up our tank, it's actually kind of difficult at times in the winter because all the Phillips stations have their water pipes frozen. So as often as we can, we are tapping into whatever pipeline is actually open and available depending on where we're at in the country. But the thing that keeps our van nice and warm and keeps our water from melting is our heater. Our number one key to winter van life success is our heater. We have a 12 volt diesel heater. It's got its own little tank that we can just fill up. And that tank, if we ran it straight, would last us like three days. So it's the perfect size and it heats up our whole entire van. We can control it with a little remote so we can turn it on when we're in bed or when we're driving or whatever. It keeps our pipes warm, it keeps us warm, it keeps our dog happy during the day while we're skiing and we couldn't do winter van life without it. Lunch break over. So the top of the bowl was closed, but we're gonna give this side a shot. <laughs> Just finished our day. It was so beautiful and amazing. Last thing to do is to change and then find a place to sleep for the night. I'm <laughs> just kidding, it's not that easy. 
Okay, it's not snowing right now and the snow is totally packed down, but we did want to show you a very important part of winter van life, and that is putting chains on your van. And guess what? It's actually way easier than you think. <laughs> oh, hopefully I don't break them. Chaining up the van took John like five minutes and it's super, super convenient when we want to go to some of the like steeper resort towns or just random fun places and we can just throw on chains and pretty much get anywhere. <laughs> After we are settled into our parking spot for the night, we make dinner and then cozy up for either Netflix or a board game. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm concerned because my goggles are pushing my eyebrows down. No, you just are concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, really John, look like you're like really chefy right now. Oh, give me a second. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> we're already done. <laughs> okay. One second. Uh